The Miami Dolphins have entered the 2021 season with a victory on opening weekend and these three players stepped up week one. What a friggin' whirlwind week one was for the Miami Dolphins am I right? The Dolphins had this game against the New England Patriots in their hand, found a way to make me and everyone else think that this game was going to be a loss, to the Miami Dolphins finding a way to win the game. Obviously, there is a ton of stuff for the Dolphins coaching staff and players to clean up. Nobody is denying that. We also know that Tua Tungavailoa is going to get sort of dragged over the coals this week for not putting up Hertz, Burrow, and Herbert-like stats and for throwing a bad interception. Tua played fine enough to win and made a few big plays. He'll get better. But I think going on the road in week one, against a division rival a division rival who I'm told beats up on young quarterbacks, against a team that has been touted all week they are a sneaky Super Bowl team where more than a few calls didn't go our way and you end up winning is pretty awesome. We can all go to work today feeling good. It was a 17-16 victory for the Dolphins and I realize that all of us Dolphin fans have just about started to calm down. But, there were three players for the Dolphins that stood out that really sealed the game for the Dolphins. 1. Xavier Howard, the guy who wasn't even supposed to be here, to me, played the best game of all the players for the Miami Dolphins. I don't know what kind of wizardry PFF will be coming out with to show how every player on the defense played in terms of a number, but Xavier Howard played like a guy that was better than everyone else on the field. I don't recall Howard getting beat for any deep balls, and I don't think Howard was tested too often. But you know what Howard did when the game was in peril. He caused a fumble and even recovered it. Howard showed up all game and in the game's biggest moment, when the Patriots were leaning on the Dolphins, Xavier Howard stepped up and took the game from the Belichick and the Patriots. It was awesome and it 100% had to happen for the Dolphins to win this game because New England was in FG range when Howard punched the ball out of Damian Harris. Obviously, Xavier Howard has to play at the level he did today. Perhaps it's unfair that we need so much out of him. But, that's what all that money he demanded is all about. 2. Brennan Scarlett that's right, a guy named Brennan Scarlett that I know that all of us Miami Dolphins degenerates have heard of from time to time played a very good game. Jalen Phillips, the 15th overall pick of the 2021 draft, was picked to be W big time rusher. But, stone cold Brian Flores went with a guy that nobody thought anything of, Brennan Scarlett, Nighthawk as he likes to be called, to bring pressure and make plays off the edge. That's what Scarlett did much of the game. There were so many times I saw number 57 and was like, thank god this guy 57, not sure who this is making a play, only for figuring out it was Brennan Scarlett. His stat line is a modest one. Two tackles, one assisted tackle, and a big time pass deflection. No bigger play than second and long where Scarlett batted down a wide open screen to a receiver. If that play gets completed, then the Patriots were in the driver's seat more than they already were. He stepped up and made that play and a few others that held the Patriots to only 16 total points. Great job by him. 3. Jalen Waddell. When the Dolphins and their higher-ups who decide where the ball should be going decided to get the ball to rookie Jalen Waddell, good things occurred for the Dolphins. Sure. There was that one play where Waddell dropped a wide-open third down that would have elongated a Dolphins drive. No doubt about it, that ball has to be caught. But. Waddle was made a focus point of the two-headed monster that is the Dolphins' offensive coordinators, and the ball got to him when they designed it to get to him. Tua even found Waddle on a semi-deep ball that was fun to see. Naturally, the touchdown to Waddle was a gritty one where you can see Waddle falling down but still making the play. The guy isn't huge but he plays like a hulk. This was only game one but you can already tell that the Dolphins brass realizes that Jalen Waddle is a difference maker that needs to be highlighted each week. This isn't a Ted Ginn situation where Waddle won't get the ball thrown to him and we're all wondering why. This is a regime that understands that Waddle is a real deal player that needs to have the ball feed to him. It's going to be fascinating to see the evolution of Waddle especially when Will Fuller gets back with this team this week. The amount of motion I expect to see with Waddle and Fuller will have everyone reaching for the Zofran. It's going to be a lot of fun.